Good morning, guten morgen, magenta numaga, konnichiwa, bonjour. So it's a snow day here in Western Massachusetts, so I don't have to go to work today. So I get to do some major cleaning that I have been putting off for a while. When you clean, or your job <laughs> the last thing you want to do is clean uh, when you get home so I set a timer so hopefully I don't ramble on too long but I wanted to make this video for um, someone I came across years ago on the internet his name is Ron and I wanted to give him some encouraging words and to share my own testimony and hopefully it helps him to smile inside and out knowing that he will be fine. And I know he knows he will be fine, but it's good to um, get uh so word i'm looking for not validation but to hear it from someone else so <laughs> what a great speech <laughs> so anyhow ron has made a decision to sell his house and start over because he was having problems with a mold in his house that was giving off toxic fumes that were um, irritating his throat and his eyes and um, he sank a lot of money into trying to solve the problem but um, he could still smell and um, sense the, the toxins that were still in his house. So he decided to make the bold decision to completely cut ties of his house because he threw away so many belongings that he had in the house because the mold, the smell got into his clothes, paper, furniture, everything. I can't even imagine. I remember one time I was living in a mobile home and I had a flea problem where it, that summer we had like 40 days of rain, straight days of rain and i don't know if they were sand fleas i did have a cat but the i don't think my cat brought in the fleas i think the fleas just decided to take refuge <laughs> in my house and i bombed the house twice and i remember having to take all of the dishes and everything and i had to put them out in the shed and it was such a nightmare so on some level I know the uh, heartache and the, <laughs> the trouble that something like something similar, going through something similar. So anyways, so Ron is in his 70s and starting over. And I can imagine that it's a little bit overwhelming and I'm going to share my own testimony. Before I became born again in Christ, um, I had decided after several months to divorce, to leave my second husband. I felt like at that point, um, I felt like I was backed in a corner where um, I had no choice and I'm not going to give you the details and and um, throw my ex-husband under the bus because when you're in a relationship with someone there's two people and I'm not putting um, 
a hundred percent blame on him at all this is spiritual so i was not born again in christ so whatever was in his vessel and whatever was in my vessel the spirits it was taking over and um there was a lot going on so when i left i did that i didn't have a job because I didn't have to work when, when I was married to my second husband. Uh, I didn't have a job and I really didn't have a place to go because I wasn't, even though our marriage was breaking down for several months, I wasn't planning to, I wasn't planning where I was going to go and how I was going to leave and what means, I wasn't planning on leaving when I, the 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 day that i left it was a very spontaneous but it was a decision that i knew was right at the time so um i wound up temporarily moving in with a friend of mine but this friend lived an hour and a half from my husband's house but when we had met, we lived in um, two different locations that were, again, it was an hour and a half apart. So everyone I knew was at a distance away, or most of the people that I knew. And so my son at the time was three, and it was heartbreaking for me to have to um, leave him so I went and stayed with my friend temporarily until I figured out you know more temporary arrangement and also I had to get back into the work force and build build start over basically start from the beginning again and it's it's funny my whole life testimony I feel like that that actually was the second time because it was my second marriage that I had to start all over again and it's not an easy thing to do to pick up the pieces of what was broken and didn't work and to figure out especially when you have children to figure out where do you go from here how is this going to work now that i'm co-parenting with this person um and you know being able to financially support myself and so on but the Lord, even though I wasn't born again in Christ, the Lord helped me. I can look back over my testimony and see how the Lord placed it in my friend's heart. She had a spare bedroom to open up her home to me to help me get back on my feet. And granted, it was only temporarily. It's only, it was only for five or six weeks until... I moved closer to my son where I was only 20 minutes away from that location, but the Lord was with me even though I didn't believe in Christ yet and I didn't know the truth yet. I had no fear. When I left my husband at the time and knew that it was the right thing to do for my children and for myself and even for my husband at the time because it was toxic what was happening in our relationship was toxic for everyone and including him because again i had spirits also running my mouth and putting thoughts in my head that were untrue and so the lord does put a wedge in a division 
um, uh, for a reason. And again, I can look back over my testimony, but anyways, I'm not trying to make this video about me. I'm just sharing my testimony that Ron is starting over and I know how that feels and I know the uncertainty and whatever tomorrow brings, who knows, but I just wanted to share this video and to let him know that there's peace in Christ and we don't worry about tomorrows and we don't worry where our, our next meal is. We don't worry about um, what clothes we're going to wear and that I know that this is the will of the Lord. Whatever happened to his house, I don't believe the enemy was um, uh, that he was under spiritual attack. Although the Lord allowed it to happen and it was for a reason and that um, that there is light even in what seemed to be dark if that makes sense. <laughs> With the, a horrible moment, whatever was happening in your life, molds, divorces, um, whatever tragedies are happening in your life, the Lord is calling out to you for you to be closer to Him and getting rid of the distractions in your life and to rely and depend on Him and Him only. And that don't be afraid. So, and I'm not saying that Ron is afraid, but I, I do understand the uncertain feeling of he doesn't know whether he's going to buy a trailer and where he's going to put it or where he's going to go necessarily. And it's okay that this is the Lord's will and that his testimony, his testimony will also glorify the Lord and that I'm hoping that he does get closer to the Lord and feel that peace always in his heart and in his walk from here on out. So I love you and God bless.